controlling the mayhem when the bell rings is a referee, Joseph Cooper. Introducing the principals. First, fighting out the red corners wearing red trunks. He weighed in at 111 pounds. His excellent professional record. 17 victories against only three defeats with 10 KOs to his credit. Originally from East St. Louis, now fighting out of O'Fallon, Illinois. He's the number one challenger in the world. Black and white tonight. He weighed in at the flyweight limit of 112 pounds. His outstanding world-class professional record. 33 big victories against only one disputed defeat. 24 of those victories coming by way of knockout and is being called pound for pound among the very best in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, making the first defense in his hometown the champ returns home hailing from right here in the nation's capital of Washington, D.C. Here is the reigning IBM flyway champion of the world, King Marcellus Mark Tussauds Johnson. That's what it came to see. Too Sharp Johnson defending his title tonight against Arthur Flash Johnson. Let's take a look at the unified rules for tonight's IBF flyweight title bout. No three knockdown rule, no standing eight count fighter. Cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Only the referee may stop the bout. Accidental foul. They'll go to the scorecards after four rounds are complete. Prior to that, it will be a technical draw. There is 26-year-old Mark Johnson. Father of five, three of his children adopted, he and wife Samantha, and there is Arthur Johnson, and the instructions from referee Joseph Cooper. I'm holding you accountable for your corner, understand? Jim, let's shut slip, let's throw some thunder. And there you get a look at Arthur Johnson, a road warrior in his ninth pro bout. He fought for the title in Thailand, lost the 12-round decision. Then in 1995, went to Albuquerque and took on Johnny Tapia and lost a majority decision out. Both those fights he could easily have won. Uh, they were very, very close fights, and believe me, he is the goods, but so is Mark Johnson. Now, stylistically, the way this fight breaks down is you have Johnson as southpaw, uh, that's Mark, Mark Johnson. Arthur, of course, the right-hander. Mark Johnson wants very much, his, his trainer Ron Jackson said, to get inside and pressure Arthur Johnson. Round number one underway, scheduled for 12. Two of the best boxers in the world going head-to-head -head tonight in Washington, D.C. Now, Arthur has beaten a couple of southpaws as a, uh, in his professional career, but I don't know that he's faced the southpaw with the skills of Mark Johnson. In fact, I'm sure he hasn't. In the corner of Arthur Johnson, legendary trainer Angelo Dundee. Angelo said the last time he was in this building for boxing, 1949. Angelo coming off a 51-year layoff. Got a little right hand for Mark Johnson. Good right hook. He might have been hurt. Arthur Johnson might have been hurt by that right hand. Look at Mark go to work. Those are the combinations. They're so devastating. And down goes Arthur Johnson here in round one. No way should this have happened. But it did. That is it. Wow. Mark Johnson for the first round stunning knockout of Arthur Johnson to keep his IBF flyweight championship. Mark, the reason Mark Johnson's people are literally beside themselves is not a person in this building, even the most optimistic Mark Johnson backer, expected that. Nobody has done that to Arthur Johnson. There was no reason to expect it to happen here tonight, but Mark Johnson just whacked him for his 25th knockout, and now the concern is about Arthur Johnson. He was really stunned. Seventh first round knockout for Mark Johnson, and there is Arthur Johnson, who had never been knocked out. Getting up, let's take a look. It all started with what looked like an innocent right hand out. 
There is where Johnson, I mentioned he wanted to press him. That's a right hook. Now that one really stuck. I think it got him on the temple and knocked his equilibrium away because it wasn't a great right hook by Mark Johnson. But look at the combination. Johnson is a great finisher. That's why he had 24 KOs coming into this fight. He threw beautiful combinations. And what was great about that was he worked both the body and the head. And that's what opened up those head shots. Mark Johnson knew when he saw Arthur go down, he knew it was over. Well, the way he fell, you had to feel like it was going to be tough for him to get up, and it was. When Mark Johnson gets you, he gets you early. 20 now of his 25 knockouts have come within the first three rounds. None more impressive than this. Well, this is a totally shocking turn of events. It has never happened to Arthur before. It happened tonight. And I'll tell you what, you have to immediately look at this and say if other people couldn't do that to, to this man, that makes Mark Johnson special. And it also says, hey, how about a Mark Johnson? Johnny Tapia fight. Well, the crowd here at the D.C. Armory is chanting just that. For the official time of the stoppage, here's our ring announcer, Henry Jones. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the end comes by way of explosive knockout. One minute, 11 seconds of the very first round, and still, IBF, flyweight champion of the world, king of the flyweight, Marcellus, Mark. Mark Johnson and his crew starting already the chant of Johnny Tapia. Al Bernstein will make his way to the ring. He will talk with the IBF flyweight champion.